Hey everyone, welcome back to Patriot Ridge Farm. It's Mike again, and uh, Peppa had her babies. She had nine total, only three of them were born alive. So I just had to move. She knocked her shelter clear down by the fence. The babies really didn't have any more hay left because she'd balled it all up behind them. So I had to temporarily put them in another shelter here with a bunch of hay until I got hers moved up here and uh, got new hay and stuff in it. So I'm moving them back to where they have good warmth and good hay. So bear with me a minute and I'll be right back. And she's grumpy. All right, all right. God, you're so mean. Come here, baby. There's number two. Hey, let me get in there, Hepperella. <coughs> God, grumpy bear. Curly one. There's number three. All the spotted are tiny. All right, mama, here's your third baby. Right. All right. She gets that big pig scratching going on. Let me show you. So she gets a scratching on the uprights there and uh, on the other posts and she moves that daggone thing. And it was clear originally over here and she had moved it clear down against the fence. So I had to drag that big heavy thing up here in the mud and get new hay put down for her and it and then them. So now I'm probably gonna have to come in and throw a couple T posts behind it and uh, on each side of it to keep her from pushing this daggone thing down and out of the way. But they've got plenty of hay. I'll put some more in here in a little bit so they can get all nestled, nestled in there and get warmed up. So I really don't know what happened. Usually it uh, has to do with oxygen deprivation during the birthing process. She's a big old pig, but it is her first litter. And uh, we had the first two that come out were very small and uh, they didn't survive. They weren't alive when they were born. And then uh, she had another one that was still in the amniotic sac and it didn't even look like it had fully developed. And then the, uh, the others were all about normal size, about the size of these, but they were all stillborn. And unfortunately she picked a day that we weren't gonna be home and uh, had her babies. So it wasn't a cold day or anything. I mean, it was in the 60s, about 68 actually. And it wasn't raining, thank goodness. But um, we got the others and got him taken care of. And then uh, she's got these. Two. Hey, Peppa, any time now. Gosh, she's grumpy. Jeez, a whiz. Now, Peppa, stop. She doesn't like that farrowing bar, but I have to have it in there. You guys know that. You have to keep a farrowing bar in there like that, keep her from rolling over on the babies. And she's a big old heifer anyway, so that's what that's why it's in there but uh she's not happy that we moved the shelter but i couldn't keep them where they were at she'd actually moved it right into where some runoff was coming across from the rains and stuff that we had last day and a half or two and a half days and uh so they were soaked i mean everything was soaked all the hay was soaked and everything so that's one of the other reasons why i moved it up here now i'm gonna have to drive some t-posts around it like i said to keep her from moving the daggone thing and keep it here it is south facing so uh when we do get some sun they'll they'll have the all day sun and stuff and see, I had a bunch of hay there blocking that little opening here at the bottom. You can see all the way along through there. She's already pulled it out of there. She's just a butthole. Peppa, you know, if you'd lay down, they'd come over to you. Instead of you trying to keep tearing this snag on thing up to get in there to them. She's already moved it back that far already. So, cute little buggers. I'll get some hay stuck back in there for them, get them covered up. So, it, like I said, it rained about the last two and a half days. It dropped down to 31 last night and everything froze. And I mean froze. Vehicles were froze. 
Um, so I wanted to make sure I come out here and got them prepared again and, and got everything kind of reset. But she's she's just being a total grump ass. <laughs> And she's definitely not happy that I moved her babies because she was grumping and growling and blowing at me and everything else. So, would you lay down and feed them babies? Like a teenager, I'm telling you. There she finally laid down. Now you got to roll over so they can get access to them boobies. Lay down there, Pep. And baby's got to eat. See, that's why I was talking about that gap there at the bottom. I had all that stuff full of hay, and she's already tore it all out of there and everything. So I'm probably going to have to come back in here for some more hay. All right, I got them all tucked in. Oh, would you stop grumping, you big old pig. Big old pig, I know. Big old pig, dang on you. Okay, 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 settle down. All right, babies. Three little piggies, all stuffed in the hay. All right. Would you stop? God. Get pigs, they said. They're a good animal. They're fine. Watch the little one. Temperamental old sow. She's even got peewee all agitated. Lay down there and feed them babies. All right, that's what I want to catch y'all up on. That's why no videos recently. I did a short this morning, but that was about it. But Papa, watch that baby. So yeah, it's constantly coming out here and trying to get her to maintain and behave herself a little bit. Anyways, hey, this channel has reached a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Uh, that's a big milestone for me. Who'd ever thought some hillbilly back up in the holler in West Virginia doesn't have a thousand subscribers. I know there's probably others that have a lot more than I do, but that's all right. I appreciate it more than I can tell you guys. Um, if you're not subscribed, please give us a, a subscription. Hit the like button on these videos. That kind of helps with the YouTube algorithm. Al algorithm. I got hay in my mouth. <laughs> and uh, gets our videos out there more. And I'll try to keep you guys up on this as more often as I can. But weather's played a big role. Like I said, it's rained for the last two and a half days and froze this morning. So after my usual work time, this is what I've been out here doing. So anyways, again, from me and my family, thank you guys so much for the subscriptions. We appreciate more. Give us a like. Give us a comment. Tell us what's going on. Tell me what you think. Give me some ideas for some, for some future videos. Uh, the last video that I did on uh, emergency preparedness and just kind of the state of things. Got, a, you know, good interaction and stuff. Appreciate the comments from folks. Kind of got psychoanalyzed by somebody. <laughs> they used words like fear, panic. <laughs> anxiety <laughs> trauma <laughs> no dude you wasn't listening that's all i gotta tell you you just wasn't listening my motivations are pretty clear it's for me and my family better safer food more abundant food and the security involved in all of it including the safety and security of our own family so you know if you're willing to bow down and let people do what you do to you whatever you want to do that's up to you brother but right here i'm gonna take care of me and mine and I can tell you this whole community is going to do the same thing. So in the meantime, get and stay prepared. Stay free. God bless y'all.